Hi everyone, it's Sarah with Sally Crochet and Fabrics, and I am here to do a haul on a few items I bought within the last few days, and then also projects I've been working on. So I may do two videos, I don't know, but first let's start with how's everyone doing? I hope you are well. Uh, our prayers are with anyone that is in Florida um, or other states that will eventually become the direction of this horrible um, hurricane. Be safe and um leave if you have to pretty please i'm in a tornado zone i always leave no matter what even if they say it's going to be a really weak tornado i always always leave and if i don't need to leave or nothing happens that's okay um but yeah but anyway everyone have a great day i'm hoping but i went to hobby lobby um a few days ago and guys they have lots of clearance on fabrics not the 40 percent off but just they are clearancing out a lot of their nice fabrics um so yeah, and it equals up cheaper than the 40% would have been. So it's really good deals. But first I did, they also have clearance on um, crochet books, which I buy a lot of and rarely even <laughs> do any of the patterns in it, but that could change. So this particular book, it was $2.49. It is all about socks and 12 different designs in this book. It was $9.99 originally. And then I also got this particular book because it's been years since I've done corner to corner. And I used to really love it um, when I used to do it because it worked up very, very fast. So um, I am going to, I really want to make that one. So that's my, let me show you guys what it looks like done. Yeah. So that's what I want to do sooner or later. I'm not sure when, but um, I think that's pretty cool. It's only three different colors. So I may change that blue to something else just based on what I have in stock. But I thought it was really cute. And this was also two, this was 224 and then for fabric wise well first let me show you my thread i just got a black thread it's 1200 yards that was on clearance for 274 and they had lots of um threads on sale but i have a really good stock of thread already and then i did get more of this particular fabric that i showed you guys a few video ago so i'm currently making headbands out of them I will include a video of the headband at the end of this um, video that I made and it's available in my Etsy and my Poshmark store, which the link will be included below. They're really pretty. It kind of changes colors depending on the light. Really, really cute. This was, it's usually $12.99 a yard. It was $5. And then I also got this. This was $3 a yard. It is, uh, to me, it looks like a dupe of um, African wax print. And this was $3 a yard. I love these colors, so I may make something for myself with those. So I was happy to pick that up on sale. It was $3 a yard. Don't know if I said that. And I think I showed you guys this particular fabric um, a couple weeks ago. I'm still working on the top. I went to actually get this fabric was the only reason I went to Hobby Lobby because I needed about half of a yard. But um, it ended up being on sale. It was $3, so I got two yards of this. So I guess I'll be making some other things with it. And then I bought these. I guess they're called Tool. I'm sorry, I've never used these before. But I am actually using this for a shower, like a shower mesh kind of situation. But if you ever, if you Google shower mesh Africa, what we use back home is a longer version, unlike the scrunched up version that's here in America. Uh, we use a longer version. And what that does is that it helps you get like your back in places like that because it's so long. You can just kind of grab both ends and it um, it foams up and lathers up rather yet really, really good. And you can get places like your back real good. And if you have any mobility issues, sometimes these work really, really good if you're not able to really move around too much or have mobility issues you can kind of grab both ends but you can google it and just google um it should pop up under african mesh but i'm going to try this because it feels an exact duplicate to the fabric um the mesh fabric that's used i'm pretty sure it's the same it's both nylon so i'm going to try it out and once you kind of put it under hot water it kind of softens as well and these were 60 cents a yard so that was really really good and then for projects I am working on, I'll just include all this in one video, projects I'm working on, I am slowly getting my hats inventory that I donate, I haven't even weaved in my ends yet, 
but I'm trying to work up my hat inventory that I donate every year. So this is a cute men's hat. It have the camo and then the orange, really good. If you are homeless or if you're not, but if you work outdoors or if you are a hunter or anything like that, or you just like camo and orange, it's for you. And then I did this one because I have two huge Ikea bags of scrap yarn. So I'm really trying to use that. So this is pretty much what that is. I was using up some of the balls of yarn and it worked out pretty good. And then I don't even know if you remember a while ago I made this hat. Well, this was the side people probably saw. It was a Sauchi hat, which I love. But this is the side also on the other side of it. It does this little design. They are all have double crochets in the back stitch and this is how this design you can go back a few videos and I do a little tutorial um, showing you how to make that and then I also wanted to try something different I made this which is just a long rectangle so I think I did about maybe 35 chains and then did back loop crochets and when I got to I just made sure I remember one side of it. The last five stitches, I would do single crochet. And then at the end, I just fed it through and cinched it. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. It is time consuming, um, probably more time consuming than I would like. Because unlike something like this hat, or this is a divine hat pattern, which is my have become one of my favorite patterns because it I, I can work it very fast. And I really like that about it. So... But, you know, you have to try new stuff every now and then. And then another project that I'm currently still working on, I put it aside for a while because I just got kind of, I wanted to focus on other things. So if you guys remember, I did the square of the panther and it is glow in the dark. And so I decided to go around it with a border. It's like the granny stitch kind of situation. And so I'm just going to work this until... I'm tired of working it but right now this is where I am I haven't picked it up in a little bit maybe I'll do it today maybe not I don't know but I have it in a little bag ready just in case and then also let me just move my camera guys I have been working this is kind of a new thing I've been working on my craft room it's been a complete disaster for about a year and a half now and yesterday I tackled it is not perfect by no means because as a crafter you know how hard it is to throw away stuff so but I know where everything is and I've organized my yarn a little bit more and really separated my um my scrap yarn balls to two bags so that I can focus on using and bringing that down and using those scrap yarn so but okay well that's how the one look like pretty cute I love making these I think what I am going to do is make um, the crochet like the mermaid by keychain. So it'll just be the half of the mermaid but smaller and make that into a keychain, right? But those are my dolls I've been working on. I have sold two of them already. And yeah, they've been a lot of fun. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Everyone have a blessed day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.